This week on My Classic Car, we'll head out to the Boulevard Rod Run in Charleston, West Virginia. You'll see a huge range of rides on display at this downtown Riverside gathering. Let me tell you, this is a great spot for a car show. Plus, we'll look at some ways to improve the sound system in your classic. Hi, I'm Dennis Gage. Thanks for tuning in to My Classic Car, home of the Certified Car Nut. Well, this week we're in Charleston, West Virginia for the Boulevard Rod Run and Doo-Wop. This show's only in its third year and it's already drawn some 800 cars. And why not? Charleston's a really nice town and the setting for the show right here on the banks of the Kanawha River is to die for. And did I mention there are some really cool cars here? <laughs> Let's get around and check a few of them out. Danny, <laughs> nice town you got here. It's real nice, thank you. <laughs> thank you, we're glad you're here. Yeah, well Charleston, West Virginia is a beautiful city and, and I imagine you especially fond of it being the mayor of the town. I could have been uh, uh, born in a lot of places, but I was born in the right place. <laughs> <laughs> and it's the, I believe the only place in the country where we'll shut down a four lane highway to have a car show. <laughs> you know, and I respect that, I do respect that. Yeah. And you're a car guy too, I mean that's, that's right. kind of, so there's, the show's got an inside track with the city. Right, I was a hot rodder in the 60s and uh, and I'm, I still collect antique cars, I own four of my own and I have two of them in the car show. Right now there's about 700 different cars here which to me means 700 different passions and we think it's great for our city and great for anybody who wants to come here and see it. So Charleston's kind of stuck with this as long as I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I got a show to shoot, you got a city to run, but let's look at a few of these cool rides before we sure. get down to business. All right, okay. man, let's go. Okay. Well, Jason, this is a wild car and you definitely don't see these. This is what, a 1960 Lincoln Continental Mark V? Mark V. Man, this is, um, this was a strange era for, uh, for Continental, wasn't it? Yeah, the, they were uh, going through some experimental body <laughs> shapes, I believe. Yeah, yeah. But this is, a, this is a really interesting car, though, because it looks almost completely original. All except for the, the rubber on the on the tires is pretty much an original car. The car actually has 9,200 actual miles on it. Wow. Well, it's amazing how good a condition it is. Like it's original paint, right? Original paint. Wow. And it's kind of a mint green. Killarney green is what they called it. And <laughs> original interior, obviously. Original interior. Uh, has the Magic Eye headlight for the automatic dimming for the headlights. Uh, the Magic Eye, that, that did work. Sometimes it worked. Too well, Too actually. well, yeah. The gentleman uh, did tell me in the few times that he did drive it, even driving by uh, people's porch lights would make the, the <laughs> dimmer uh, actually operate. And you have the uh, the breezeway window. The breezeway even. window, yeah. That was uh, that was a standard option in the car. So that, I'm, I'm assuming that's power. The power. The, yeah, the vehicle actually does have seven power windows in it. Really? Well, so even the even the wing windows. Even the wing windows are power. Oh man, you gotta love that. <laughs> you know, and, and uh, this this rear end, this dish in, looks yeah, so yeah, cool. Yeah. But you know, if you look at it between the window and that candid back roof, and the way and the taillights in particular, it's got a lot of murk in it, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. Uh, I think they both took uh, some styling traits from each other, definitely. Wow, what a huge car! What does this weigh? Fifty-two hundred plus. <laughs> <laughs> and what pulls this this fifty-two hundred pounds? Uh, it has around? the, the four thirty in it. Oh, let's, let's go up and take look a look at, at it. it. Oh yeah, the, the reverse. It was a safety hood. Yeah, had the reverse safety hood on it. So that you know, if it happened to unlatch going down the road, it wouldn't. Uh, wouldn't fly back over the, over the Is windshield. Is this original too? Or did the, you touch this The insulation, this I have replaced the insulation on that. But how about the paint? The, the paint's original. Like I said, just a, just a lot of amazing. cleaning. That's amazing. I did touch just... up a little bit in the engine compartment just to brighten it up, but uh, everything else is, is as it was. That is incredible. 430 too. I mean, this thing will pass anything but a gas station. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not, not friendly to the gas station. <laughs> well, actually, the gas stations love it. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah they love it. 
Wow. And actually the car, which is surprising, which has helped survive it, 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 I don't know if they did it at the factory, but the car was tremendously undercoated. Really? I mean, you, you can see the, the, the tabs in it and underneath yeah. and actually in the wheel, or excuse me, in the engine compartment here. And probably which some of that was for sound deadening yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. Because these were quiet but, right oh, now. Oh yeah. Actually, the far that this car has been is from the check-in to here. And it, uh... <laughs> well, I'm sure, you know, I, I just, I absolutely love this car. I'm sure glad you brought it out. But we're, we're glad to have it here. Like I said, that was that was our goal to, to get it down and let the let the people see it and uh, let, let it see some sunlight. Well, now even more folks are going to see it. Oh, Jason, yeah. thanks yeah. for bringing Dennis, it out, man. Thank you. 60 Continental, you got to love it. Welcome back to My Classic Car. Well, Brian, here's another one you don't see anymore. This is a this is a 76 Ford LTD Brome. Yes, yes it is. Now, this is a car that doesn't get any love at all. I mean, it's it, it was the family you know, the family ride, it just, they, they, people bought these, they used them, and they used them up and threw them away. I haven't seen one of these since 78 or 9, probably. No, you don't see these cars out anymore. They're, they're a rarity. And this baby's all original. Yes, yes it is. How'd you find it? Uh, I located it uh, one day in Fayetteville, West Virginia. This lady had put it out on the parking lot, and then it just, she had just put it out. And, and so I, you were like, Arr! Yeah. <laughs> Stop. Yeah. <laughs> No yeah. kidding, so I mean, like you were right there and did you basically buy it on the spot? Yes, absolutely. There was like a strip mall and the bank was on the other end and I just went through the drive through and came right back through. <laughs> <laughs> Timing is everything. Yes, isn't it? it is. <laughs> Timing is everything. So all original, how many miles? 49,000. You know, it actually doesn't even look like it's got 49 on it. The, the, the paint is fabulous. It's in good shape. Kind of yeah. an interesting color too, kind of a metallic gold. Yeah something stock yeah. uh, well obviously it's the original paint right yeah absolutely it's the original paint i love the hubcaps thank you you know pretty yeah. trick stock stock of course yeah <laughs> and the interior i mean this thing looks like if it was driven it was driven by ghosts yeah it's in great shape it um i don't doubt if anybody's even sat in the back seat she was uh the widow of a coal miner and oh really yeah and uh the carpets uh, are fabulous yeah i found uh those covered with old shag carpet that uh, she had cut and placed in there, and then when I pulled those off, there it was. So it, it hasn't even had feet on it prior to that? No. Man, factory eight track? Yeah. Unbelievable, what condition, you know? So what power is this baby? It's got a 400 uh, big block in it. Let's look at it. Well, she looks pretty clean under here too. Did you do any work here? Uh, no, I just wiped it down, just cleaned it down, up a little bit, and. That was it. it Man, was pretty much unbelievable care this thing saw. Yeah, she did a great job. Well, now have you have you been to the Charleston show before? Yes, I have, Dennis. Yes, I. I, I haven't brought this car. I took this car here last well, year. So that's yours too. Yes, it is. Well, you got a couple of nice cars here, man. Thank you. <laughs> and you having a good time? Oh, wonderful times. Beautiful weather here in wild, wonderful West Virginia, and it's a great day. Wild, wonderful West Virginia, <laughs> and you got a wild, wonderful. 76 LTD Brome. You know, not a lot of people will put a 76 LTD Brome on TV, but by golly, I will. That's a great car, Brian. Thank you very much. Thank you, man. Still ahead, we'll track down more cool cars in Charleston, West Virginia. Welcome back to My Classic Car. Well, Jeff, this is a mighty nice 72 Plymouth Duster here, 340 Duster. This is a uh, you were telling me this is a local car? Yes, sir. It's bought here in South Charleston, a Capital Chrysler. And uh, but but it didn't look like this when it was bought. No, it was white, <laughs> three eighteen car. Uh huh. Made a three forty clone out of it. Well, that's that's really nice. Now you were also saying this has got crazy low miles. Fourteen thousand original miles. How does that happen? Some old lady owned it and didn't drive it much. <laughs> you, you guys must have a lot of old ladies in this state. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They just glom onto these cars and then don't do anything with them. Yeah. So did you do all this transformation? Yes. And you have a shop or something? No, done it in our garage at the house. Did you paint it too? Painted it in my garage, yes. Wow. I mean, it, it, that's a nice paint job. Thank you. You got some talent. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like it. How about the interior, though? You didn't touch that, right? No, I, the vinyl and everything's original inside the car. All the glass. That, that's amazing. I mean, the, the lady must not have driven this much no. at all. No, she didn't. And nowadays, you can get all the, you know, the stripe packages and the decal and stuff all aftermarket so yes it probably makes this transformation makes pretty easy. easy yes sir your chrome's great too did you have to that, redo that no that's all the original chrome on the whole car man that's you know it it, uh, it came out really nice now under the hood do you really have the 340 it's a 340 well let's have a yes, look sir. at that 
<clears throat> well, it's kind of a dressed up 342. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I suppose you uh, did all that too? Yes, sir. Did all that. Hand rubbed the paint inside. Well, you're obsessive too. I mean, you actually hand rubbed the, uh, the yes, engine sir. bay? Yeah. Wow. Sure looks nice. Thank you. <laughs> With all this work and with such low mileage, is this is this one that you you know is this just a show show queen? No, or? sir, I drive it. No kidding. Yeah, yeah, I've put a thousand miles on it in a year. So you're you are a true Mopar guy, aren't yes, you? Yes, sir. Yeah, you're Mopar crazy. Since I was young. <laughs> <laughs> Closer up, Jeff. All right. So lo local car, local boy. What do you think of the local show here? Love it. It's yeah. great. Yeah. Well, you got prime real estate too, it's right? Beautiful, here by the, beautiful, beautiful by the river. Oh yeah. man. Well, this is great, man. Thanks for bringing it out. Hey, thank you. You do great work, buddy. Appreciate it. Nice 72 duster. Well, Chuck, we got a uh, 49 Jeepster here, right? Yes, Willie's sir. Overland Jeepster. Willie's Overland Jeepster. Wow, these are, these are such wild looking vehicles. There was, there's nothing on the road that looks like this now. And actually, there really wasn't anything on the At road the that time, looked no. like it back then either. No. Right? So who, who designed these cars? This is a Brooke Stevens design. Yeah, they really he, were. He was hired by Willie's Overland, uh, hopefully after the war, to bring them bring them out of their slump. You know, and so this was going to be it, right? This was going to be it. Yeah. <laughs> How'd, it work? How'd that work out? Well, they only made them till through 51, so. So not, you know, not, not all that good. Didn't work out like they had it measured. <laughs> and then this luxurious, heavily appointed oh, yes, interior. Right. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> three on the tree, right? Very utilitarian. Yes, three on the tree with overdrive. Top speed without overdrive is only about 45. And with overdrive is about 55. 55, <laughs> right, exactly, and 55. <laughs> well, she's great, and you know, I love the, the spare tire back here. Oh, yeah. Willie's Overland in the bumper. Oh, yeah. That's a great looking hubcap, is that? Is that a, where'd you get that? Yeah, that those NOS? are new. Those are new reproductions oh, okay, and, uh, that are available from a, uh, a Willys Jeepster supplier in New Jersey. They sure dress it up, don't they? Yeah, they sure and do. I like the steps on the side to get in because I mean that's kind of how you got into the back seat. Right? Absolutely, and with the top down, it was convenient. Kids like to yeah. use the steps, <laughs> right? Now this you came with a four cylinder back in forty nine. Four cylinder right? in forty nine. Uh, Let's have a look at it. Yes, sir. Oh. It's a cute little engine. <laughs> oh yeah, yes it is. <laughs> Willie's Overland manufacturer, uh, same engine went all the way through World War II. And, can can uh, you still get parts for that? Oh, absolutely. Really? Yeah, parts are very common, very common. Several suppliers in the eastern part of the United States are, have all parts. How many horsepower? 63. Oh, wow, yeah. <laughs> Wide open. <laughs> yeah, it, it's not much. Well, she's a great looking car. Have you been to this show before? Uh, yes, sir, last year. And what do you think of it? Oh, it's a wonderful show. And what a day, huh? Great show, yeah. Beautiful weather. You can't beat it. And you got the only Jeepster here, I think. The uh, only one I've seen. <laughs> Chuck, thanks a lot, man. Yes, sir, Dennis. I 49 Willys Overland Jeepster. I love these things. Welcome back to My Classic Car. So, Chuck, I saw this this morning, and it took me all day to find you, actually. Yeah. <laughs> but 37 GMC truck, what a magnificent piece this is. Well, How long you had this baby? Uh, about three or four years. Yeah? Now, you don't see many of these. Did no, you have to, did you no, have to search I, uh, to find it? Yeah, it probably took, oh, when, once I made up my mind that I wanted one, yeah. um, probably about six months on the internet. Oh, well, yeah, the internet, there. isn't that, isn't that the, right. the global swap meet? Yeah. Exactly. So what made you decide you wanted one? Um, well, I'm a uh, GMC truck dealer, oh, wow. and the company I have was started in 1937, so I had to have a 1937 you, GMC. Uh, well, of course. <laughs> so this is sort of the flagship or the flag truck. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> it's a classy looking truck. Well, thank you. You know, but but it, I mean, is it a beast to drive? I mean, oh yeah, it's yeah. a truck, right? Yeah. I mean, it drives like a truck. Yeah, it's a, it's like a farm tractor with a cab on it, basically. <laughs> <laughs> and is it a three-speed? Uh, four speed. Four speed. Four so it's speed. got that, that double low. Yeah. You can yeah, climb the a wall. Dog gear. Just... Yeah, exactly. Man, but she's in great shape because you know, these were farm trucks and most of them were just, you know, I mean, just beat to death. Yeah, exactly. You know, classy looking fenders and everything. I mean, this is a, this is a really nice truck. Oh, it is. It's beautiful. Love the GMC back here. So this would have had some sort of flathead six or something in it, right? That's exactly what Is that right? Let's go have a look at it. Oldsmobile 230 flathead oh, really? six. Yeah. Really? Was that what it was? Mm-hmm. So now does it's a side? Uh, go ahead and open it up. Yeah. How, do, how does it open? You still have a six volt system too. Oh yeah, yeah. It's all original. So it's a. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> does it ever leave you stranded? 
Uh, no, it hadn't yet, other than when we were bringing it down, we ran out of gas. So. <laughs> <laughs> but, the gas tank's under the front seat. And, but did, uh, did, these have, did these still have a crank start in them? Yeah, oh they, yeah. yeah. They did. It's got the old, uh, you slide it in right up here in the front. So even if you did get, get, uh, exactly. get left by, by that battery, you could, mm -hmm. you could get her going. Huh? Well, close her back up. I mean, the uh, lines I, on this truck are beautiful. I, I don't know if it was ever painted this fancy new, but she sure looks good yeah. now. Yeah, what a, what a great looking truck, man. 37 GMC. Yes, Thanks sir. for bringing it out. Well, thank you. Cool truck, Chuck. Oh, man. We had a great time here in West Virginia at the Charleston Rod Run and Doo-Wop. This is a really great town and a nice show. You ought to consider checking this one out.